Imagine being called for a speech. It's a speech about yourself. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna share? What are you gonna tell in this story, in this speech? Well, today we're gonna tackle this. How to write a speech for yourself. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Paul and I am from Power Speaker Now and I've been studying and doing public speaking for five years. I help millennials look and sound like an authority in their presentations. If this is one of the first interactions with the group or an audience, it is very crucial to see that first impressions count. We need to keep in mind that before the speech day, we should do some research. Study the battlefield. You need to learn the time you're speaking, the time limit, the place where you're going to do your speech, if it's a meeting room or even a hall, and if there's a mic. Other thing to keep in mind in this pre-D-Day of your speech is who is the audience, what are their interests, and how your speech could cater to them. You need to learn that. Also make sure if you're gonna need a mic or you're gonna just use your voice. So you need to study how much volume you'll be needing during this speech. Part 2. Strategy. It is important for you to have a plan on paper. If you're new to this type of planning thing, then I recommend just taking a piece of paper, jotting down three things that you would like to share to your audience. It could be anything, as long as it's not too taboo. Then after you have jotted down these three things that you want to share with the audience, this is my structure and how you can create any speech, in this case, a speech about yourself. This is the four steps on how you can create a speech from nothing or just from those three things that you jotted down on that piece of paper and create a great speech about yourself. Introduction. This is the quickest part. This should be short and simple. Start greeting everyone who is present. State your name and surname clearly with confidence. You can talk about your job, your faculty, or even how you graduated and stuff like that. And add a hook to keep people interested. For example, uh -huh, my name is blah 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 and my faculty is blah 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 blah. This is the hook. Now, I will reveal to you things that you may not have seen in my appearance. Things about myself that you have never guessed in your mind. Inception. That is an example of a hook. In between these four steps, there's going to be some transition. This is an example of a transition. Continuing to know who I am, dot, 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 then you go to your next phrase. Second step is basic information. This is the most informative part. It's all about yourself. A little bit more detail than the introduction. You can talk about your academic life, or various experiences you had in your life, or countries you have visited, or why you joined even this group. It could be Toastmasters, it could be Anonymous Alcoholics. Not judging you, just tell the what. Part 3, Additional Information. Here you can add a couple of information about yourself, like how many languages, like certain languages that you know, an emotional turning point in your life, or a message of inspiration. Transition, now that you have learned a little bit about myself, let's talk about my goals for the future. That could be one of your transitions. You nailed it! Well, actually not yet. We're about to go to the fourth part, so stay tuned. Part 4, Conclusion. Here you can talk about your plans for the future and what are your current goals. You nailed it! You can basically create any speech just using those four steps. So rewind if you need to. But let's go to the next part. Test yourself. Perform at least twice a day the whole speech from beginning to end. One practice in the morning after you just woke up, you don't know what the hell you're doing. You want some coffee, but you need to do your speech. Second one is do the speech before going to sleep. This will help you internalize the speech in the upcoming days. Disclaimer, if your speech is more than 30 minutes, then we recommend not doing all this process but just a little bit just once a day but if the speech is five to seven minutes then that is great because you can practice this speech in the morning and just going before bed and another thing to addition to this is if you need to practice more practice more it doesn't hurt and please make sure that you're in the time limit the speech that you're doing is only five minutes don't go over ten minutes that's a no 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 and please don't do script by script, word by word, just know the speech by heart. 
Oh. Also remember to use your guide. Don't just go, ah, blah, 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 blah. don't just practice like that. Practice with your jotted ideas and basically your guidelines in front of you when you do your practice speech. Bonus tips! <laughs> Even though it's a speech about yourself, it's not about you. Share stories about how other people lifted you up, how they made you have your aha moments. Aha moments. Aha. Aha. For example, how you overcame binge eating after a certain person talked to you personally, gave you full attention, and you discovered that binge eating can be stopped right now. You can include one or two teachers in this process. Bonus tip number two. Say your name clearly. If you can't say your name clearly, then how do you expect others to take you seriously? So state your name clearly. Bonus number three. Keep it light and playful. <laughs> Don't be a boring speaker. I recommend looking at kids, how they speak and tell stories to their friends or to their peers. You will learn a lot from them. And also how to eat things that you haven't seen before. You will learn that they are very positive and enthusiastic. So that's why you go and look at your kid or somebody else kid. Just don't kidnap them, okay? So learn from them how they have this enthusiastic and positive energy. B -b Bonus number four. Talk about your kryptonite. Everybody's great, but everyone is not great in everything. Talk about your flaws. That will help you become much more relatable to your audience so they know that you're speaking at them at their same level and you're not some badass speaker. Even if you are, it's great to be relatable to the audience. Talk about your kryptonite and go and fight Lex Luthor. This is Sparta! I can't kick in the front of the camera because I don't want to go and get another camera. That's how I broke my other camera. Here you can look at my icebreaker speech so you can have a tangible example in how to perform a self introduction speech or a speech about yourself and here let youtube decide what you need from my channel <gasps> youtube you choose the way you lead the way man youtube my icebreaker speech youtube my icebreaker speech <laughs>